Every day we can learn and discover more and more things about our environment. Scientists create new experiments to research and find solutions to problems with their environment. If we understand our surroundings, we will in turn help protect the species habiting our Earth and help conserve our planet. One of the many concerns is acid rain. Acid rain is created when tiny droplets of water, which make up clouds, capture gases in the atmosphere emitted by cars and factories. The gases, sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides, are chemically converted into sulfuric and nitric acids. When it rains, the pH becomes lower, thus creating various levels of acidity. We heard of this problem and wanted to understand the effect of the pH on seed germination with our own eyes. We created an experiment to test our question. Our hypothesis was, the more acidic the environment surrounding the seeds, the less conducive the growing environment would become. The materials were 30 seeds, 6 petri dishes, 18 filter papers, acetic acid with a pH of 2.6, 3.1, and 6.0, tweezers, and a pipette. We use the dishes and put a double layer of filter paper on the bottom. Next we use tweezers and put five seeds in each of the dishes on top of the filter paper. For three of the petri dishes, we did not cover with filter paper. We left it open. The other three our more saturation petri dishes, we put filter paper over the top of the seeds. We added one milliliter of the designated solution to saturate the seeds in each dish via the pipettes. Three of the dishes with the filter paper below and over the seeds got two milliliters. The other with the filter paper just below the seeds only had one milliliter. Each solution then had two dishes of different saturation levels. We checked the seeds over a course of a week to see if we had any results. We recorded the length of the seeds four times. We found the seeds could not grow in the solutions with a 2.6 and 3.1 levels of acidity. However, the seeds grew in the 6.0 solutions. This shows the seeds cannot grow in an acidic environment. In conclusion, throughout our experiment, we learned acid rain prohibits seed growth in our environment. Our hypothesis, the more acidic the environment surrounding the seeds, the less conducive the growing environment would become, was fairly correct in this case. The main thing we need to learn from this experiment is, by polluting the environment with cars and factories, we create acid rain. The acid rain then hampers the growth of life and plants and trees in our environment. We have to understand what is happening in our environment and then find solutions to make sure we stop the problem at hand. Using the information we found in our experiment, we learned we need to find solutions to pollution, thus reducing acid rain and ultimately conserving our environment.